Hey, you want to try something cool? What is that? I know, I know, you were expecting, you know, Arnold and Danny DeVito, but... <laughs> so, guys, this trek into DIY Tech is going to be an experiment that I did a long time ago when I was running the Makerspace. Uh, it's the, uh, as the uh, thumbnail says, it's the uh, NeoPixel bulb. And uh, as you can see, it's just, <laughs> it's just some wood. Uh, something that looks like a bulb, um, something that looks like an Edison lamp bulb, uh, and a couple of switches, uh, and a mysterious cylinder in between. I'm going to take this apart and show you guys what's inside, because we love Arduino on this channel, and this is an Arduino that's running this thing. Show you some of the things that you can do with Arduino. <laughs> this is This is one of them. So the whole premise behind this experiment was this. I would just hand this to to random people and uh, well, uh, a sampling of uh, older and younger people and uh, see what they do with it without giving them any prompting. And so uh, without uh, it turned out to be that um, the the older set would just uh, take a look at it and not do too much with it and ask more more questions than than not. Uh, and the younger set would just immediately grab it and start flipping switches. And so there's two switches on here. They're slightly different, as you can see. One is a toggle that returns to center and the other one is an on switch. So the on switch just turns it on. Uh, it boots up after a, a bit, so the LEDs go out after it boots up. And then you pull down on the other switch and that one's basically a mode switch. And all it does is it changes the patterns of LEDs. And so these are NeoPixels. If you are not familiar with NeoPixels, I'll put a link below so you can you can check that out. But basically, that's it. So if the person was uh, adventurous enough to try it, uh, they would be rewarded by uh, this nice light show. Uh, and so, as you can see the switch, you can continue to toggle through these different uh, patterns. And what it does is eventually it comes back around to um, starting from the beginning of the rainbow. And there's a ton of gradations in there. Um, the actual uh, mixing of the colors, uh, red, green, and blue, or RGB, it goes through and does 65 million, um, 65 million combinations. Uh, 256, 256, or 255, 255, 255. Um, and it, it goes through and mixes all of those. And so eventually you come back around to the to the beginning, but you can uh, you can see where, where that's going. Uh, let me see if we can get back to the beginning here uh, really quick. There it goes. And that's, you're back at the beginning. But uh, there you go. Uh, but that's it. Let's, let's take a look at the inside now. All right, so I'm gonna take care, uh, take this apart really quick. And it's just got these four acorn nuts at the top. And this is just threaded rod, some aluminum uh, tubing over some uh, steel threaded rod. And uh, I just wanted to get a mix of materials. At some point, I was looking at copper copper tubing or or uh, brass tubing for that. And I just, I just never got around to changing that. Uh, so you can see four acorn nuts and I have a connector here and with this connector I can disconnect the the bulb and so you'll see I tried to model this after a uh, some type of uh, steampunk-ish kind of 
uh, bulb. And so, um, this one, let me see if I can remove this without breaking this. Uh, it's in there pretty good. Oh, there you go. So, I'll show you how this goes in there. So, this is just an EMT or, uh, the fittings that go on the electrical conduits. I just cut it at one point and I use the threads that go into the junction box. And so didn't need to have a nut on there, but I used that. I drilled a hole that was pretty close in the wood. And then I use this itself to thread that. And I epoxied the, the bulb to that. Uh, originally this was glass. It is now plastic. So this is uh, plastic from one of those ornament, uh, Christmas ornament um, that you can get at Hobby Lobby. But uh, I'll leave it to your imagination to figure out what actually happened to the original glass of this. Uh, because it was actually made out of a an actual bulb that I took apart. Um, so on the inside, you can see we're not going to go through and uh, see how that is wired. We'll leave the uh, schematics and all of that for a different uh, different video if you guys want to check that out. I will actually put the wiring schematics in there, but you can see there's a resistor. Uh, these LEDs, unlike regular LEDs, have four conductors instead of instead of the two conductors that's customary with LEDs that just gives you power on two, plus and minus power, um, or positive and negative power, and then data in and data out. And again, well, I'll put a link to the NeoPixels in there so you can see. Um, get these from Adafruit. Very cool company. Yeah, so we'll set that aside. Let's look at the inside which is where all the crazy stuff happens. So like I said, this is threaded rod. So we won't go ahead and have to pull all of that out. We'll just take the center tube out. And this is not glued in there. This is just the pressure just holds all of that together. You can see how the switches are wired in here. I'll just pull that up so you can check that out. All right, so what's in here What's actually in here is a small Arduino microcontroller. Uh, so let's untangle this so you can get a good look at that. So a small Arduino microcontroller down here. And this is a trinket. So this is an older uh, microcontroller there. Uh, but there's, we still have trinket. Uh, the trinket is still out there. Um, slightly different version, more uh, so it's updated. You can see this one is a USB mini. <laughs> the newer ones, uh, you either have USB C or uh, micro USB on there. But <clears throat> check this out. So, this is an Arduino Uno. So, this is the original form factor of the Arduino micro microcontrollers. Um, when that system was first developed. This one, this form factor is one of, of the many new ones that have come up. Um, they're programmed the same way. And you can see one of our other, uh, one of my other videos shows how to, how to do some Arduino work there. But the final component of this whole thing, where are you getting the power, right? Um, this is a uh, battery charger. So this battery charger, as you can see, we've taken, we've tapped battery from the charging plug. Um, we've tapped that power. Whenever this is plugged in, we can do programming as well as, as long as it's plugged in, it's going through this, this uh, lithium polymer uh, battery charger. And then we have a, we have a battery sitting underneath. And so there's your battery right there. 
uh, and that that's just held on there with some uh, double-sided foam tape and uh, yeah that's that's the whole thing uh, I mean and <laughs> I even put some felt feet on here this was originally gonna be um, I was going to do some uh, staining of the wood and all of that to uh, to make it look nice and make it look like a piece of furniture as they say but I never got around to it uh, and so this is just a piece of PVC pipe and uh, well, we've got uh, two inch PVC pipe and uh, interesting thing to note when you get uh, pipe it's it's when they say two inch it's the inside diameter because you can have different schedule this is uh, schedule 40 if you have schedule 80 uh, you'll have the same two inch diameter on the inside but the outside wall is going to be slightly slightly thicker for schedule 80 it just means that it can handle higher pressure um, but yeah that's it that's all that's in there and so so very cool um, like I said I got the results that I got you know just watching people uh, do their thing with this and uh, um, you know uh, a lot of people were adventurous and they would go ahead and and uh, and test it out and, you know flip the switches and all that and and uh, then you had other people who were um, a lot more cautious and it tended to be the uh, people of higher age numbers that were very cautious and they were like oh and let me not, let me not just click the buttons. Let me, let me, um, let me ask what it does first, which, hey, it's, it's, it's good to be cautious, but the, the experiment was like, you know, when do we, and I don't, I don't remember the numbers. I don't have the numbers with me. I just wanted to show you guys the, the actual mechanism, but, um, interesting thing right at some point that magic of wonder kind of starts uh, turning into the wisdom of caution as we'll call it but there you go that's one just another cool thing that you can do with an Arduino like a controller and uh, you know a little a uh, little craft work and some programming. All right, guys. Hey, um, hope you enjoyed that one and uh, maybe saw a little bit more of uh, what microcontrollers can do for you. Uh, a lot of fun. There's a lot of automated systems like this, uh, for, for example, well, this one's, this one's less, uh, microcontroller than, um, electronics, but, uh, there are a lot of systems that take advantage of micro, microcontrollers by taking inputs and converting them to, uh, usable outputs. And, uh, you know, a project like this will help you, uh, get your mind around how all of that is wired together and how it works. And, uh, hey, Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you spending the time with me. And uh, hey, like, subscribe, share. That'll help us uh, keep making these videos. And if you get inclined to, uh, you know, drop a few coins on us, uh, I'll put the link to the Patreon down below in the uh, comments. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next video.